The Food Bank's Canada Hunger Count 2022 report says there was almost 1.5 million visits in March across Canada. Local food banks are seeing the pattern. Just uh, before, uh, in 2021, we used to serve average of 160 households every month. This year we are serving around 320. So for us, has doubled. We're closer to 20 to 25 percent increase. Um, and that's really happening over the last few months that we've really seen that increase take place um, really since inflation kicked in. Um, I think people are no longer able to sort of take care of their own finances the way that they once were able to. After the pandemic, there were more seniors who needed help. In Burlington and Stony Creek, they're also seeing more families with children, like Nicole Taylor, who visits the food bank to feed her kids. There are some days probably we wouldn't be eating. I can't afford the price of groceries nowadays. $100 doesn't give you very much from the grocery store. Like, for example, strawberries was uh, say $7 the other day at the grocery store, and I can't afford that. My daughter really loves fruits. According to the report, the top three reasons why people accessed a food bank this year was food costs, low provincial social assistance rates, and housing costs. Research director Richard Matern says there needs to be a dual approach that addresses the root cause of needing them, including employment insurance reform. We need to work to a minimum income floor. We have one for seniors. We um, have foundations of one for families with children, but we really need one with uh, something for working age adults. We also need affordable housing and then uh, really need to update our EI reform. Robin Bailey says donations have also slightly dropped. We've had people actually say that when they're making a donation, that it maybe isn't quite as much as what they would have in the past. Uh, they just need to watch out. Local food banks add that more federal and provincial support would help. Minnie Sedana Ball and CHCH News.